Hey, what's up, Lord? Welcome back to Rome to the War of Bear Invasions. The Celts. Forgot last time we uh <clears throat> didn't do so well over here and uh, lost most of our men, but we did kill a good number of them as well. Take a while for them to retrain. So uh, it was in their territory, not in our territory. So not the worst of losses. Uh, did they make a horrible auto manage over here? Lost a lot of these troops, and we also lost a captain to the French that we could have been eliminated. But uh, the first thing we're going to do today is actually try to take out Avedicum. Yes. We might be able to take it this turn, we'll see. But uh, these guys retreated, and we're able to fight them again. Step heavy spearmen, peasants. Good, the generals and the peasants. That's actually awesome. <laughs> yes, but these peasants are actually pretty good for peasants. Step raiders, we got plenty of cab for that. So I'm not too worried about that. And we got Bioclars, which is their faction leader. He has a warlord. Touched by fear. So he's he's not bad. He's 88. Holy cow. What does he have with him? Some step heavy spears. Retranii. Oh, shoot. They got horse archers. Great. Great. Mm, not what I wanted to see. Mm. One problem finding the vans. But, uh... I think we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We should we should be fine. We outnumber them quite a bit. They do out they do outskill us, especially with uh, heavy spearmen are very good. But uh, I think I think we should be able to handle them. They are separated and they have less men, like I said. So I'm hoping that it'll go better than the battles we did last time. Oh, those are those are bloody. I was hoping to maybe finish this campaign in this session, but probably not going to happen after that. But we'll see. We'll see. It's possible. Today is a good day to die. Await my orders. Great. All right. Well, you know. Mm, no, it's bad. Yes, I don't care who you are. Just fighting in woods is just terrible. Move out. Yeah. We have no ranged units, do we? No, I guess that's the weakness of this army. Um, we do have some nice mercenary cavalry. So the worst problem is just that I have horrible visibility. The AI is not impaired at all. And I have no way to really siege them, if you know what I mean. These are more heads for our warriors to collect and try them. So the peasants are out in the open. I actually move this way. And I do want to try to skirt them with my cav a little bit. Have wing. Try to get in here and cause some ruckus. Because they do have some archers that I'd like to take out, and peasants, you know, are pretty weak too. This kind of assault, generally speaking. Should be able to outrun their uh, spearmen. Fine. You know, these cavalry are all kind of separated on the. Uh... So I'm going to group them, ungroup them, so that they're. <clears throat> On the same spot in the unit area. So I don't have to constantly. You see, normally I don't do that because, well, I can just see them on the battle map and grab the group of them without too much trouble. But uh, this situation is very useful. And ooh, we might actually be able to get a good pick on these guys. That would be pretty awesome. Da -da 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 to charge into them, please. What are you doing? Guys. The archers are here. This is you, fighting over there. You're losing the peasants! Get your act together. Noobs. This is ridiculous. I don't understand sometimes. Yeah, I know they're coming. Will you kill... 
you're fighting peasants and archers. You really shouldn't be losing. You shouldn't be taking this long either. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. Thank you. We killed one. All right, that's actually good enough. We get it. Just get out. Disgust me. Enemy warlord flees from our warriors. Attack and drive them back in the same way. We need all of you to, uh... Well, I guess... Actually go over here. Because we need to go take out those horse archers. <clears throat> this is the next priority. And, uh... Currently... We need to take out these, uh... These spin them on... in position like this, and uh, let's see if we can run these guys down. I really doubt it's going to work that well. But we can try. We're actually pretty close. Hey, hey, we might actually be able to. Oh, they're actually going to charge in to us. That's convenient. That's really convenient, actually. Wow, you gave up. You gave up. You were so good. Wow, we just killed the we just killed all their horse archers. Okay. All right, that was that was what I was most worried about, to be honest. Is the stupid horse archers, and they're gone. All right, it's overwhelming. You guys will move farther this way. There we go. Took him out. In the back. Very nice. I would like my spearmen to engage, if they can. And we're gonna activate our uh, berserkers as well. Because we should be able to hold these guys, I would think. What are you doing? I don't need you there. Da 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 da! Grell knights. Uh, get wrecked. The enemy king has gone to meet his ancestors. His lackeys now rightly fear us. Oh, there we go. There's some mass routing action. Let's try to kill as much as we can, though. So we might be able to get to the city. That feels good to do a battle that well after uh, having some problems. Feels good. To win that decisively. Yes. Very good. Very good job, guys. Clear victory. Massacred. I'm still shocked and awed that I was able to kill those horse archers. <laughs> it's that little problem. I guess I didn't realize they were that close to the edge of the uh, screen. Victory! Oh, yes. yeah. Kidding me. Kill them. Kill them. Settlement. Settlement under siege. So, family member over there. If he tries to break your siege, he'll die. Otherwise, I don't know. <clears throat> and then, I'm actually going to build a diplomat. See if we can get a ceasefire afterwards. I really don't like what he's doing. Didn't log it one bit. Didn't log it one bit, mate. But, uh, I think we're going to save it and end the turn. Because that's what I do.
Sorry for that. And faction destroyed. Roloxani got destroyed, eh? Huh. And Eslet died. Oh, you little Eslet. Construction report. Build a guild hall here. Get a tavern for some more happiness. Happiness. I know it's gross, but sometimes you gotta be gross. <laughs> You guys are just going to hold out here. I don't know what the Romans are doing, so. Maybe they do want a ceasefire. Would you like a ceasefire? Oh, okay. Cool. Cool beans. By all means, be uh, Sir Reginald McDouche Douche. But uh, we do need some more gale glasses. And some more of those. But we'll be ready to go. Not soon. You know what? Actually we can make we can make berserkers anywhere really, so. Uh if we do two turns, then we can have two turns here. We can do two turns here and here. Oh, they're already doing berserkers. I think that'll work out better. I'll do it like that. But, uh, yeah, let's take out this settlement here. Settlement captured. Yeah, they're gonna exterminate that one. And they didn't really go that far, did they? Mm, great. 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 Where'd that diplomat go? Dang it. Me, 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 me. Well, they're going to come and try to kill me, but I'm in a huge city. So, haha, good luck. You will die. And there are their epic stone walls. Oh, yeah. So, if they try to come back and fight us, that'll be pretty epic, actually. But we should be able to kill them all. Because <clears throat> we have epic stone walls. And I will defend the walls, trust me. Because uh, horse archers, not that good against wall settlements. Believe it or not. And we got plenty of tree and stuff, so I think we'll be okay. They got double horde action down here, though. And we're up to 13 regions. So three more regions. We got our all of our acquired regions. So we just need three more. And we are ready to go. So we got two more turns. Three more turns. So this army's ready. Four more turns till that army's ready. And uh, we're just going to defend here. I would like to make peace if we can. Because I don't want to deal with that. But it doesn't always work that way. And we're getting buttloads of money because we lost so many troops. Uh, yeah, last episode we lost upwards of 5,000 troops. It's ridiculous. Oh, they... Okay. They didn't come and attack us. Take out these uh, stupid pirates. Go away. Nobody loves you. We do need to retrain these ships, though. The little on the beaten edge. And Vandals and Hunza. Perfect. You guys love me. I love you, too. Good job. All right. I'm going to go talk to him. And where there's his faction again. That's some good. Uh, if we could jank over here and take that, that would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty easy as well. We'll see. We, I'm going to wait and see if everybody clears out of the area because uh, I'd l like to have good defenses there if we can. And uh, Yeah, this settlement's pretty much a massive stronghold. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to return everybody. <clears throat> what do we have here, actually? Oh, the Mithras. Yeah, I probably won't get rid of that just because it's such a high level temple. Is the only reason. Although, we'll get a Bardic Circle. Because they'd already started working on that. So, yeah, the Romans aren't actually playing that aggressive against us. Which works out in our favor. Believe it. 
or not. And the Burgundy are playing really super not aggressive because they're not actually coming after me. I, I thought they would come after me. Maybe we did kill their forces enough. Maybe we both just kind of just kind of nuked each other really quick and then we're like, hey, wow, we should probably back up. But I'm actually kind of interested to see. So the Huns are here. Vandals are here. They're about to have a massive slaughter of each other. Which means that they're going to be really easy to kill. I don't want to fight them in the open field because horde armies have a lot of horse archers. And horse archers do not work out. And shoot, the Burgundy are going to take that. There goes one hope, I guess. But, uh... Ooh, uh easy come, easy go. <clears throat> Even though it didn't come. And these guys are still chilling out here. Oh, his, uh, his dad died of old age. Cool. And Vandals... Oh, looks like... Yeah, it looks like they did fight. Let's see. Let's see the aftermath. Uh, looks like the Vandals pretty much won. They, it looks like they lost maybe this battle, a couple battles, but uh, they did push them back. We're just faction Franks. That's cool. I mean, good for you. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, Colonia Grupina. You can get the large Swiss. And we'll get that rolling. There. Uh, uh. Uh, they really don't want to fight us, it seems like, so I'm not going to push the issue. Hey, I'm all fine with uh, peace when it comes to uh, advantaging me. Alright, guys. I mean, I don't really want to fight you. No, they don't want peace. Alright, cool. I mean, if you're going to be like that, we'll just sit in our city. Because I don't want to deal with it. Ain't dealing with it. But uh, we're going to send an army down here. This guy's going to come down through here and do some damage. Next turn, he'll start moving, actually. In fact, we can just position right here. So we'll get uh, um, these guys. Then we'll have two more units, so we can pick these two. Actually, these guys are about the same. Yeah. <clears throat> so, we'll have two more units next turn. What are our mercenaries available? Fidentiaries, not good. Mercenaries, uh... Vitranii are good. So, I'm gonna get some Vitranii. Throw these picked spears in here or something. Border town. Needs more help. <clears throat> Getting ready to roll here. Two more turns. Mr. Maximum HP. Yeah, that HP probably saved him in that battle, to be honest. So, good thing. That's a really juicy town that I want to take. Lots of Atranii, though. But, if I could take it, it'd be awesome. Oh, look at... They must... Do they have a foundry here? I don't know. They must have... Yeah, it's because of the Maximum Barracks. Got some silver experience on these gal glasses, boy! Alright. <clears throat> anyway... Save, end the turn. And we're ready to start rolling again. Huns, what do you want? Not much. Okay. Cool. Oh, looks like they got in some more fighting. And they're going to... Okay, they're just derping around there. Looks like they got in some more fighting. Look, look at this. They're just spreading and... And Patrick introduces Christianity to Ireland. Cool. Good for you, Patrick. And dressed. We already had a dress, didn't we? <laughs> eh, you know, I just mine here, mine there. Indifferent. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. Um, one more turn left there. So. With that, this army's gonna roll out. I have confidence that we can defend there, and if we don't, we got secondary defenses. It's not a big deal. But we're going to come all the way down here, hit down Car Carnuntum, Carnuntum. Go for that. And then if we could just blitz over here take this Rebel Summit, that'll be pretty cool. As well. Might not actually take that much Lombardi land, simply because of uh, that horrid battle that we fought. But it would be nice. So, yeah, sorry if it disappoints you that I'm not going to be playing this 
that far into the game. But uh, I do want to play Rome 2. And I'd rather not have to focus on multiple campaigns. And Terran the Cold Hearted. Man, this city is like five times happier. Hmm. Says something about your leadership, sir. Built some spear garrison there. Franks and Goths gone to war. Franks and Goths. Hmm. Hopefully the Franks didn't start that one because that would be kind of dumb. Druid and the Blessings. Got that gun. And they're just going to take that role with something, it looks like. <clears throat> they decided warring with the uh, Huns is a bad idea. Maybe they were losing or something, I don't know. And sewer. Arctic Circle. There we come. Get some farms. Wow, there's really low farming technology there for some reason. It's kind of weird. Orders. You'd think. No more moves. General. These guys are going to travel as a separate cell. And, uh... Joyce, Joyce. Uh, yeah, we'll get a golden man. Be a good addition. We should also get some more Pictish Spear Garrison. I love saying that, Pictish Spear Garrison. Pictish Spear Garrison. If you couldn't tell, I do like saying yes. that. Mm, not gonna be able to get too far next turn. That's okay. General, well, let's go right march. here. Yes, forward. But this guy, he'll be he'll be traveling. Attack! Unable to move. Attack! General. Attack! Attack! I don't know if the Romans are gonna actually siege attack. They've been pretty iffy about it, and uh, they've let me recobble my forces mostly. So I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. Kind of dumb though. So we've lost 12 battles in total. That's not good. It's still a good ratio. It's a winning ratio. That's why we've taken all this territory. But <clears throat> could have taken it a lot faster. Oh, and before I forget, you guys wanted to see the. Uh, you guys keep forgetting that you guys like to see the um, ranking. Oh, this guy came over here. Cool. And you broke the siege again. What the heck are you doing? Might. What might? And got archer range. Don't know much else. Spark circle. That's pretty good. Losing a bit of money, but that's again because we have so much army. Forward. General. Forward. Yes. March. Merging army. Get moving there. Caps Chetty Eye. He's just like, not gonna ambush you. I'm scared. Kill them. Cutting off more Roman land would be good as well. I don't need a land. I, I'm thinking this guy's gonna come up here and try to take that rebel summit, but he's not gonna make it past this and this and that. I'm thinking, though, if they if they do take that, they're gonna settle down again, and I'm gonna be able to come over here and bum rush them again, because I'm still at war, of course, so... But, uh, yeah, basically, if you get a homeland, you're able to basically infinitely... I know I've been forgetting about them, I don't really care. You're basically infinitely able to keep hoarding, as long as you've been able to get a... Uh, what the heck? Oh, right, because I said the relic went there at some point, I don't know when. Um, <clears throat> basically, infinitely able to hoard, which is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty hard to die as those factions, but it's, as you can see, they're not really gaining ground overall. Where are you guys at? Yeah, that's what I thought. I heard somebody said it was that region, I think. So, good call, good call. I right, guess you forgot to uh, do the... Uh, oh! <laughs> guess, guess who's getting screwed over because they took that territory. Hmm. Uh, new homeland, Vandals, but they're going to lose that in a matter of seconds. Or there's just faction. Yada yada. So I guess we're just going to keep that army there for the rest of the game. And they're going to stand over here again. Not doing anything. We lost our admiral. Dang it, he was a good admiral too. Poop in a sulk! 
Piven Assault Mate. Yeah, let's do our movements this turn, then check out the stuff that I said we're gonna check out. But, uh, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Chosen X man. Yeah. Well, let's let's kill you a little bit, just a, just a little, just a just a small tad. Let's firmly cleave you in in twain, in twixt and twain. What do we want to do that with? Well, let's do this and then have our uh, Berserkers back. Just because I want to see it. And uh, let's triple speed that. Does lag a little bit when there's snow and uh, have quite a bit of troops as well. It's a pretty full uh, Celtic army here. Celtic. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know, maybe I should have used chariots more. But the, they, it, the problem is they just take two turns to train, and if I'm going to use two turns to train, you know, I'm going to train um, these uh, berserkers because they're a little better, in my opinion. Keep advancing. They can run this time. You still can't shoot. Man, these guys have a little short range. I didn't even know it was that short, really. Are you kidding me? You really can't shoot. What is the range on these guys? Point blank? Right, let's see what one around does to them. Boom. Boom. Pretty powerful. But uh, let's just work right. Oh my gosh, that actually killed most of them. Um, gonna go? Hello. Great. This is no longer a battle. This is a Great. Lost 60 crossbows. For no reason. This is <clears throat> probably could have handled that a little bit better. But auto manage probably would have killed like 600 of my guys for no reason. So, it's a good thing that I did fight that on the battlefield. Gage over here. I don't have any mercenary, uh, what are those things called? Range units, yeah. That's unfortunate, but, uh, yeah, let's look at our stuff. Family tree. Getting into the fourth generation. Talking about our generation. We got a lot of deaths. We don't have much of a family tree, really. Kind of sloping inward, which is not a good trend. Unfortunate deaths in battle. Well, actually, no. Well, he died in battle. That was unfortunate, I guess. But uh, a lot of them just didn't have kids. These guys are just not having kids. Just not, not sexing it up properly. I don't know, man. They usually don't have problems with that, but uh, this time, this campaign, Celts are just not sexy, apparently. Or the Celts, just not sexy. Just not sexy. And they're, <laughs> these guys are like, mm, nope. Turn around. Nah, I'm out of here. Yeah, so the Goths have that nice area right there. And Rome is down here. That would be juicy, but... Uh, These are sacrifices we make for Rome, too. I will finish the Parthian campaign how I initially intended, though. With, uh... 30 regions. I'm not gonna cheap out on that. Really? You're right next to it. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. 
Whoa, somebody's pissed. Pick your spear, garrison, go. Some of that, very come. Some of that. Where is our capital, anyway? It's in London name, right? We'll probably have to move it, maybe, to, uh, Sembro, some of, some of Briva. Once we start taking some of this, because it's kind of far away. And, uh, I'm probably gonna accrue some penalties there, but... Not too worried about that. Um, oh, we do have an actual family member from them. No special warlord, though. The Burgundia. That's okay. That's fine. I mean... Oh, 420! Lol, 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 Just kidding. And, uh, we're at the point where we do need some more killing in order to get funds back up. But that's fine. I can see they're trying to defend, but you're not gonna defend against a horde. You can't. Like, generally speaking. Uh, this. This would be the one situation where I'd say, okay, you might be able to defend from a horde. Otherwise, no. Not gonna happen. When you have a full garrison, and, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. We got lots of troops. We got troops. We got, oh, he hired all the mercenaries, didn't he? Really? There's Sarmatian archers here? Why are there Sarmatian archers here? This is nowhere close to Sarmatia. Come on. Let me guess, you got mercenary cabin too. No, you didn't. But, uh. Ooh, 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 round two. Can we do better this time? I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, I, think, I think we'll be okay. <clears throat> but. You just never know, man. If I can save the Berserkers until a better moment of crisis, I think I'll be better. And I do have Spearmen this time. More balanced force. So I think it will definitely be better. Yes, lots more spears, which is good. Very good. Now that I know the crossbows have such a horrible range, I guess it's not that big a deal that I lost something. It's still kind of a big deal, but uh, less of one. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just tactically defend, tactically defend our flanks. So our first order of business taking out this initial army here, very quickly. Be a good idea. And I guess we'll swing and hit these guys, maybe? Are these the ones with the Merc archers? I can't quite tell. Mm, no, because it looks like. No, they are. They sh the Sarmatians should be in this army. Somewhere. Oh, there they are, right there. No, those are Fidentiary. This is the army, though, because. Yeah, these guys, okay. Um, I knew it was the army. Alright, so let's war cry these guys. And let's take them down to Funky Town. Beep, 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 beep. Counter charge. There we go. See, look, look, look. Did you see that? That went so much better than last time. But I do want to take on this army next. Oh, bonus. Simply because um, the horse archers. I don't want to deal with them. So we're going to have all of our uh, cavalry actually group up and deal with those. As soon as possible. Since we don't have to worry about that first army coming back. Because uh, they all routed. And we killed most of them anyway. So 10%. 10 to 1. Not a bad ratio. Alright, so basically we need to... Cavalry is going to wreck this army. And we need to use them very efficiently. Cavalry is not going to do very good against this army, though, because there's a lot of spears, I see. 
So you gotta use your resources where they're where they're useful. And Sarmation Archer's going to do a lot of damage to us. But we might be able to Yoink Berry in here. Yoink Berry! Yoink Berry Souffle! Yes! Yes, get him. Get him. Come on, guys, charge him. Yes! Oh, we've had some good luck with the uh, Horse Archers, I will say. First the Vandals, now these Mercenaries here. Definitely, definitely shouldn't have done that good against them. Oh, hey, guys. Mm, they are approaching fast, so we need to make this swift-ish. Let's take out the Fidentiaries. We should just be able to sweep this guy up with our cavalry, pretty much, for the most part. Uh, let's keep him away from the Fidentiary infantry, though. Don't want to fight them. As they are, Spearmen. And I'm not sure if they're going to be rushing towards us or not. Looks that way, actually. Which is not what I want. Hmm. Wow, they just routed. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, take them on. Probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, if we can kill these guys, there we go. There's literally nothing that can stand up against these archers right now. All right, you guys, you guys need to get back though, because Army Three is moving in. Right now we got, uh, I know I get a shot, that's okay. Oh, I guess they're coming back for some more. And now it's time to unleash the Berserkers. There we go. Attack and drive them back in the same way. Shoot. Why are these guys so good? I don't understand. Shouldn't be that good. Alright, should be slaughtering these guys decently. Definitely have the upper hand. Uh, Golden Man, not that good against Cav. I don't have any like defenses, so number one reason. Oh, they got our archers. Dang it. What? Where was you fighting? What? They just got him on a lucky charge. This is ridiculous. I don't understand, man. I mean, having a good battle, and then just, and, and then everybody on the field just routes because. Uh, come on, man! I can't watch everything. It's fine. Just berserk! I told you to berserk. Come on, guys! Oh, now my berserkers aren't even working. This is great. This is great. I mean, I'm. Pretty much done, then. I guess. If the Berserkers aren't fighting, what hope do I have? Like, really. Like, honestly. I tell you, man. These Barbarian Noble Cavaliers are somehow just super OP. 
And why are you out of Berserk again? Why are they killing so many of them? Okay, good. There we go. Good job. Relatively. Run this way. Oh, Berserkers. You just make everything a little bit better. They're not being super efficient, but uh, they're handling that whole column by themselves. Come on! Look at this is ridiculous. Shouldn't be able to hold on like that. There we go. Crush that whole line up there. <sighs> Pulled another one out of our hats, ladies and gents. This has not been an easy campaign. For sure. I'm gonna wait till the Berserkers get over here and we'll doppelgang them. It seems like the AI just doesn't run away from Berserkers for some reason. Oh my gosh. Alright, so it looks like they're going to attack these guys. War cry. Take them down. There we go. Good job, guys. To be fair, they did have a lot more men than we did. And, uh, actually, thinking about it, I probably shouldn't have won this one. Just because uh, their men are a lot better overall, I, I would say. Uh. Boom. Yeah, what are we still fighting? Who's still alive? Obviously, somebody. Oh, not. All right. Cool. Them down and slay uh, them all. Uh, uh, kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. All right. I think that's pretty good. Clear victory. Yeah, we killed more than we lost. So, still a bloody battle. Man, don't under don't underestimate the Burgundia. I guess they will. Do some damage. Mmm. But we got ourselves a nice little city over here. Half off. This Wednesday. Oh, you're kidding me. Could I? No. I was going to say, could I reach that and just yoink it? That'd be beautiful. Oh, the Romans want a piece of this, though. And Dalrida is actually expanded. Wow. Wow. As you found, hordes of rive vandals are in our land, apparently. Apparently they're just traveling through here. That's cool. It's fine. I don't care. And... Oh, I thought it was the guy that uh, was leading our army over here. But he died anyway, so who cares? Get rid of these, uh... Actually, I know for a fact that they don't have the right temple. So, <clears throat> change that first off. Towns of Kalu. Then we'll, uh... Build some more troopins! Troopins! And try to defend ourselves there. Yeah, I think that's as far as we're going to go in the south. Uh, it's going to be up to this guy here. Get a couple easy wins. Should be able to take that and that, and that should actually be the game. 
But uh, I think we'll accomplish all that next episode on Rome to the War by Baron Invasion as the Celts. Join us next time as we try to finish off the campaign here. Take these two settlements, and that'll probably be it. It's been fun, guys. I, I, I do like this campaign, but uh, we do need to move on to better things, so I can't be playing this that long. But again, I will be playing Parthia all the way through. But I, I will beat this campaign. Don't worry. So thanks so much for, for watching. Bread Noise on and out. Have a good day.